initial efforts at being a homemaker are quite lazy. But I do know that he wants to change. And I think we can turn him around. What you'll do is, to make it easier for yourself, is write out from Monday to Friday the chores. So let's start off first by putting this all away. My wife's got her career, and now it's my turn to be the homemaker. I'm taking this homemaker position real seriously. Move on to sorting out other things that need to be done within the chores. Since Joe's been here, she's brought in this structure for me to be Mr. Homemaker. And I can see it's already starting to work. Give me five! Look at you, but it's down! Later on in the day, whilst I was talking to Dad, we heard a distress call coming from the bathroom. He wants somebody to wipe his bottom. Okay. He's in there. This is ridiculous! Trevor is seven years old. We need to put a stop to this now. Well, do it yourself. Oh, well, it's good. Dad and I just gave him encouraging words to carry on doing it himself. Right, where do you get off the rest? Use the soap, hot water, and wash your hands real good. I think it's great. Trevor is wiping his own butt. There's no turning back. My wife does it, I pull her out of the bathroom. If she thinks, she thinks, thinks about it. Normally, Dad could drop the boys off at preschool in the afternoon, but today he made a big step forward and he decided to spend some good quality time with the boys at home. Oh, you won. Trevor scored the winning goal, but Travis, he didn't yeah. like that. No! Yeah, he won. Right, yeah. No, we gotta go outside. He won. We out the road. Let's go win. No, why do you want to break the game? Because why? Well, you did good. Play. You should... Later. Travis didn't like losing, and even though Dad gave him a warning, he just wouldn't let up. See this kick in? Yeah. This will be an aggressive review. Yeah. Take a straight. Two more to me. Come on, Travis. The blue one. Okay, come on. Oh, just felt like I'm uneasy at first putting him there because he was, he was so upset. And, you know, they, they weren't fake tears. He was basically crying. Jeff had given up disciplining the boys, so for him to follow through with the naughty bench was a big move. And I you know I wasn't supposed to comfort him, so I didn't. Travis could see that Dad wasn't joking, and he eventually sat there. Four minutes start from now, Dad. <laughs> Hey, look at me. You know why you're here? You kick daddy, right? That's naughty, right? Hmm? Yeah? You say you're sorry to daddy? You're not gonna do no more? I promise? Yeah. Okay. Come here, buddy. It was just the one right to my heart. I mean, something I've never felt before. Oh, oh he's making me cry! What am I still here? I'm okay. This is a big moment for Jeff. Just by disciplining Travis, he's gained more confidence as a parent, and his boys respect him. It's not usually that close. You're not usually that close. It's not usually what it, what, how it works. Mia. Oh, Pradia, you did really well. All right, that is that's a very proud of Dad, and that he was so happy that he was able to implement discipline, and I think everything had just come at once for him, you know. It's the first time that he's ever disciplined the children successfully. It's not just at home that the boys need disciplining, they also need it at the preschool as well. So we headed over there, because they get very aggressive with the other children. Taking the ball from that young girl over there. Yeah. Okay, that's got to trouble, okay? I saw Travis take a basketball for little girl, and Mum went over to correct what had happened. Did you take the ball from her? I got it. I was mine. Did you take the ball from Breezy? I got it. Are you not sharing? Instead, you pacified Travis, so I had to pull her away and have a word with her. I wasn't happy with what I saw. You can't discipline your own child. I feel bad because I don't want to be mad at me, and at the 
be here for me to continue working and just let him into the plane. I just thought Rosemary can't be excuses to take some responsibility here. Let me tell you something, and this is straight now. Rosemary, if you don't get a grip, you're in for a big lot of trouble, let me tell you. You've got two boys, four and seven, that have got attitude. If you don't remain consistent when you're in your own school, then what are you going to be doing for them? I just don't know how to get them to know the rules and to read. By doing it, Rosemary, you know where to put those children when they're aggressive. You place them straight onto a naughty bench. The tools have been set up for you, but you've got to want it. I do, I do. Like you're in here. Show me. Show yourself, show your husband, show your kids. So where do I start? You start right here. Jo is, I feel as though it's a little hard on me, but I know she does it for the right reasons. I told my wife back. Then take it and say, right, I'm going to change things. Come on. It's that bad, huh? It ain't that bad. You can do it. You can do it. Guys, I'm off for a while. Now having Joe around for the next few days is gonna make it even harder for me because I don't have someone looking over my shoulder. Trevor, Joe's just going now, but I'll see you in a while when I come back, okay? I can do these things that Joe's taught us for the next few days while she's gone. And I can feel confident I can get it done. Travis, bye Colin. I've worked really hard with Rosemary and Jess, and if they seriously want change, they're going to have to step it up while I'm away. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Coming up on Super Nanny, Mom teaches the boys some new words. No, I think I got my shoot out from the nanny the other night. Very great. And Joe's not pleased. What happened there? He's just as bad. You need to take responsibility. When Super Nanny returns. But first, a tip from Super Nanny. Parents, when you're dropping your children off to school, don't make it any harder than it needs to be. If your children start to cry, then do them a favour and don't loiter. Hang up their bags and their coats, engage them in an activity and leave immediately. Confidently reassuring them that she'll be back to pick them up later.